the day that I remember so well. Well, the day was the day when I accidentally bumped into a space capsule in my backyard. Yes, this kind of stuff happens. It happened to me. Of course, what does Toph do when she finds a space capsule? I got inside. Probably all of you will do the same thing. Maybe, maybe not. I got inside, of course, out of curiosity. And then the last thing I remember from Planet 2 is a door slamming behind me. And that was it. And then... <laughs> <laughs> then I was suddenly in space. Like, I was in this glass capsule with holographic touch screens, like, everywhere around me. And behind them, just, like, stars and stardust and funky, colorful gases. It was freaking amazing, like really freaking cool. But okay, I got to the first the first shock of being there, far from my family, from my friends, by accident in space. But yeah, let's make this, the story short. I traveled around the universe for a while. I, cha I exchanged gal galaxies, <laughs> and yeah, then I saw this tiny shiny star which you would probably call the sun. And I got very interested in it. I started to research its history, its formation, and the planets. And then I found a tiny bluish planet, which you all know, which in the meantime became my home. And I really liked it. Now with the political circumstances I'm considering of maybe moving somewhere else, but Please stay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for the moment I'm still here. So now that I'm here, um, I will let you see a small excerpt from my space diary. It was quite a challenge to make it uh, trans convertible because my spaceship software was yeah, hardly translatable. But lucky for me, this harbor space station was the route I discovered to new inspiration. And thanks to talented Jeremy Sampson. <laughs> we, we made through motion graphics an awesome translation that maybe Ben will play. <laughs> The beauty and the art can create deep emotions in us. We love to see when something is very beautiful or interesting. When we see that someone has created an amazing artwork, then we feel happy and complete. We feel an emotion of respect and value when we admire art that is interesting and beautiful. In this wonderful video we can see a very creative artist who is pushing the limits of the modern art. Christina has been creating art for more than 10 years. The innovation of her art is in the combination of poetry, acting, painting, music, 
light, and the presentation. It's not one form of art, but many forms of art in one. She is creating a story. It's like a magic combination of painting, modern art, one wonderful story and acting. This art project is not limited in time. There is not limit to style of the presentation. The art of Christina can be seen on the website under the name of the top. One the story can create the meaning. The art is already beautiful without the story, but a good story can create a deeper emotion in us. The story behind the art of Christina is connected to the travel trough time and space. Both, on Earth and in the faraway parts of the galaxy. The main idea is that the art can create new hope, new inspiration and new dreams. The goal of art is to create something positive in our world. Sometimes we have an idea. We cannot stop thinking about this idea until we try a or create something that is connected to this idea. We have the deep motivation in our heart. We want to create and we want to be useful. Some people have this emotion and they cannot do anything else. Those people can be only happy if they create the art that is in their mind. Sometimes we create the art because we want to achieve glory. We want to achieve a level of perfection that is meaningful for us. Sometimes we see one good artwork and we want to own it or we want to create our own version of this artwork. The creativity is in every person. The people who create are the people who build our world. Those people create the change and the future. The world is only going to become better if we create something that is better than anything else in the world.
we can find the art in many different versions. Some people see the art in biology, in mechanical objects, in the digital programs, in the colors, or in the music. There are many forms of art, but the internal motivation is the same. That one strong internal push from the heart, when we cannot stop thinking about the idea that we want to make reality. The process of the creation can be very difficult. It can be hard and impossible. The price of not doing anything is the regret of knowing that life could be much better if we try to create and to improve something. The good, the beautiful and the interesting art is like an internal program that forces us to follow our idea until it becomes reality. The people who create the interesting art have a strong emotional desire to be better than before and to create something that is much better than the art from their personal past. We do not know what is creating this strong desire. Some people say that our digital friends from space are sending ideas into our head. They want to help us and to show us what they know. Maybe it is true, or maybe we have a biological mechanism that is deep in our body. Maybe our DNA is programmed to create art and to build structures, to sing songs, or to play music. We are not sure what makes us to want to create art, but we can be very happy that the beautiful art is part of our world. Thank you.